I grew up in the uh, Brewers Hill and Harambe neighborhoods in town. My family did not own guns. My nuclear family did not own guns as a as a child. Um, but um, the neighborhood I grew up in, um, most of the guys that I grew up around all own guns. And at the first chance that I could, I bought a gun as well. There was an incident a couple of years prior where um, my sister had gotten into an altercation with another girl and this girl's family had again had threatened my family um, and I remember I think I was about 11 at that time and I remember wishing I had a gun then as well and so like there so just this history of of, of incidents where um, there was some threat of violence and me feeling and me being my, my the oldest male in the house at the time, you know, for the most part, and me just feeling like I have to protect my family. No matter how crazy it sounds that an 11 year old would feel like he would need to protect his family, um, I can completely uh, empathize with, with our young people in the community today who have some of those same feelings, who grew up in conditions um, not much different than the ones that I grew up in. But I've also learned that there are so many other ways to, to, to address concerns, to address conflict, to handle things in, in a much more, much more peaceful manner, right? And so um, my thoughts are, I, I just wish that our, our community in, at large and our young people and more specifically um, knew that there were so many other ways to handle conflict without feeling the need to, um, to have a firearm in any kind of way. I was 19 years old when I bought my first gun. It was a, a Chrome 380 semi-automatic made by a company called Jennings. I'll never forget that day. It gave me a sense of safety and, and security, first and foremost. It also made me happy that I didn't have to call any of my buddies um, in the event that something happened and I, needed, and I needed access to a gun. I didn't have to call anybody. I got the proper instruction around firearms when I was about, I must have been about 30 years old or so. That's when, that's when I finally started to get some proper instruction at, a, at an actual shooting range with actual um, range masters and instructors and things like that. That can just go through the basics. That's, that's when I got really serious about, about being a gun owner. So I got into training new gun owners about 10 years ago. And I got into it because... I remember being 19, having purchased my first gun and had never really shot a gun prior to being 19. Uh, but here I am, this 19 year old with this semi-automatic pistol, didn't know how to clean it, didn't know how to store it, didn't, didn't really know how to operate it other than what I had saw on television. And so um, I got into training other people because I wanted people to be knowledgeable, to be safe and to be able to to operate a firearm appropriately. And so I had taken some classes myself um, and I was just using the information that I learned to teach other people. I always tell people that uh, uh, to first time gun owners, I always tell them that safety is most important. And when I teach basics of handgun, it's usually handgun safety that I can teach. One message that I have is that um, gun storage and gun ownership, there's not a one size fits all message that, that can be there. I think that every person's uh, individual person, every individual home has its own set of circumstances that have to be taken into account. Having a gun and why I carry, um, I have a gun uh, uh, first and foremost because I have a constitutional right to have one first and foremost. Um, and then secondarily, I carry because um, I want to be prepared in an absolute worst case scenario. When I'm around my friends who are also gun owners and who happen to be African American, I think our conversations are, are actually pretty, pretty aligned. You know, most of us um, want to protect our homes, want to protect our families, want to protect ourselves. Um, sometimes we'll We'll um, go to the gun range and, and, and go and shoot together. I've taught some of my friends as children and my children as well how to shoot, how to be safe around guns and things like that. And so that's where most of our conversations are, are, pretty, are pretty well aligned. I think that um, another misconception is that, um, is, that people who, is that people who carry do so because they're um, a vigilante or some type of cowboy and things like that. I myself, I'm one of the most laid back and relaxed people. I'm very introverted um, and I'm not looking for any 
for any issues with anybody. I just like to feel like I'm prepared in case, in case a defensive scenario presents itself to me. So those people who feel like all people who own guns are, are thugs and are criminals and things like that, what I say is that I know that uh, the media, um, no offense to you all, but the media um, does a really good job of, of making people feel that way just because of what they see in the television, what they see on social media, what they read in the paper, what they see in magazines even. And I believe that that taints people's perception of gun owners. And so um, I've had conversations with, with, with people and at the end I'll say, I'm actually carrying a gun now, right? And they're like, oh, I, I didn't realize. And I'm like, of course, like you, you wouldn't because I'm a responsible gun owner, right? And, and there are, I believe there are more responsible gun owners than there are irresponsible gun owners. Um, but I feel like some of those conversations are going to be had, especially when some tragedy happens, especially some of the things that we've seen around our city in the last year or two. Um, and, and I can understand where some of those misconceptions come from. Um, but I do feel like it's somewhat incumbent upon me being a um, being a male, being a black male in this community to be a responsible gun owner and to talk about responsible gun ownership to help hopefully help change the narrative for for what gun gun ownership looks like, especially within the black community, especially.